howdy diddly dandy there, chums. It's I, Captain Steve, and I've got an episode for you today, chums. Heck yes, because I'm actually still in Inside Vortex's base in the NMSA hub on the planet Purple Haze. Heck yes. But if you hover over here, you can see here it's manufacturing and it's a prosperous region of space, and it's also a Gek region of space. Now, the Gek, they like two types of ship more so than any other, which are haulers, which are super expensive, but they also like shuttles, which are super, super cheap. And yeah, sometimes in a prosperous system or a wealthy system, you're going to get a higher chance of S class ships flying in. So I figured while I'm waiting for the activated idiom to arrive, I should be able to follow some of the. Well, I, I, I wasn't going to follow ships, but I could follow these ships. Maybe they'll take me to a trading post. Oh no, look, they're just about to land. I'm going to go up to the station and hopefully find an S class shuttle. Hopefully, it's going to be under 10 million. And I'd be able to scrap it, maybe get some storage augmentation for my little fighter. So let's head on over and let's see if this is a thing. Let's see if we can do this. Hooray and hurrah, I have arrived located at the station. That's a land. Okay, brilliant, awesome. Let's jump on out of the Raging Eagle and let's just wait around. In fact, why I'm waiting around, hey, look at that. We've got the scrap merchant lit up like a Christmas tree. What do you got for us, Mr. Scrappy Dude? Hello there, chum. Right, oh. Brilliant, you've got a lovely set of eyes. I have to say, I'm quite envious of your four eyes. They're pretty darn sweet. Liking them. Very nice. An assortment of eyeballs. Loving those eyebrows as well. They're super awesome. Look very regal on you, sir. Right, I'm just going to purchase... Uh, no, I'll, I'll have this thing. Thank you very much. A quarter coordinators. Yes, I'll have one of them. Lovely. So I think this calls in the derelict freighters, which, are, yeah, we're going to have to... Board one of those chums. Heck yes, we do that in a future episode. Lovely jubbly. Let's have a look what multi tool we have up here. You always check the multi tools, just in case there's some sort of experimental or maybe even an alien one, but there's not. Check the vendors, see what modules they've got. I'm keeping my ears open, chums, to hear if any ships are landing. But there are a couple of S class modules I want. I want the scanner module from one of these guys. I haven't seen it here yet. I want to put one of those in my multi tool for scanning objects on planets. An S class if possible. Oh, I've heard a ship land. Let's go and have a look see. Righto. Well, that's a um, pretty awesome coloration, but it's not quite. There's an A class. Hmm, I might try scrapping an A class just to see what happens. But look at the price difference. So there we go. That is super expensive, and it's a B-class chump, it's a B-class hauler. But the, the haulers might give a higher chance of drop-in storage augmentation. So I might scrap a hauler just to see if we get more storage augmentation than we do from a shuttle. There we go, might as well up, upgrade my exosuit while I'm here. Oh, I heard another ship land. What have we got? Oh, oh, it's a barrel nose. I wonder if it's another anvil. Oh, no, it's, it's not. It hasn't got a droid in the wings. But very nice, liking that. Well, let's head on up here. Righto, where was I? Yeah, I tell you what, chums, I'll reconvene with you when I find a decent ship to scrap. I'll see you guys in a bit. Heck yes, hold on tight. Righto, chums, well, we've got a hauler here, which is an A class. It's 15 million. It's a bit more than what I want to spend. But I just want to see whether we get any storage augmentation. Hello there, my little gag friend. I'm loving those goggles of yours. They're freaking ace. Right, okay, and uh, I'll have that. Thank you very much. No, I'm just going to buy. I don't want to exchange. You're not having my ship. Heck no. Right, okay, brilliant. Now let's go scrap this thing. We'll see if we get some storage augmentation. We'll see if we get any sort of modules. I think I'll only get A-class modules from A-class ships. That's why I want to hold out for the S-class, because, yeah, I can use the S-class modules on any ships that I get here on in. And I do want to get an assortment of ships. I want five ships, five fighters. They look a little bit like my current fighter, but in different colors. Heck yes, I'm going to collect them. I'm going to be an anvil collector. Yeah, heck yes. Right, oh, brilliant. Well, we've got a load of stuff there that I can actually sell. I didn't see storage augmentation pop up, but that doesn't mean I didn't get... Oh, look, I've got one inside my inventory. Not this flashing thing. It's down and to the right. You can, I can see it. It's above the little shield there. But yeah, cool. Awesome. And I've, I've got quite a few of these A-class modules that I can sell. Right, eh? Well, let's uh, head on over. And let's sell some of these to the vendors. Cool. I've got an S-class module that I want to keep, so I don't want to go and sell that one. Going to purchase, and then going to sell them and sell, sell. Awesome. 
sell this lovely don't mind if i do so scrapping ships is a good way to get a load of nanites yes you're going to lose out on a few units um, i say a few you can lose probably about five million each time you do this but you are going to gain almost a well well over a thousand nanites so it's all it's all relative you know swings and roundabouts and i'm just going to sell all these things here that i got all the scrap lovely lovely scrap now, would it be cool if when you actually scrapped ships, all those scrap components you've got, you could trade them for blueprints of that ship so you could actually build your own ship, like ship customization? That'd be freaking sweet. So I have got an ideas video on ship customization, which I will put at the top of this video right now. Heck yes. So yeah, check that out. Right, so I've made back quite a lot of my units, but not quite what I actually spent on the ship. But that was kind of a given, really. So, yeah, you are going to be chucking away a few units. Oh, my days, I've still got the Radiant Pillar. Well, that, I don't want that taking up a ship slot. It kind of breaks my heart to do this little Radiant Pillar, since you got me off my first planet. But you are going to be melted into scrap. Heck yes. Go and see the big scrap merchant in the sky. Yeah, claim the scrap on one day. chicka pow pow chicka pow pow and it's gone. Chikapow. And the uh, radiant pillar was gone. Right, okay, brilliant. Well, we've got a load of other bits there that I can go sell. And we've got some pretty shoddy modules that I can turn into nanites. Didn't get a storage augmentation that time. I've still only got the one. But let's apply the storage augmentation to my ship. So I got this from the uh, hauler that we scrapped. So let's apply that because it does save you a heck of a lot of units. So storage wise, I would have had to spend 16 million just on one slot. But this is a freebie. Heck yes, Captain Steve loves the freebie. Go, freebie, go. Awesome. Yeah, so there we go, chums. I hope you like that. Uh, gives you an idea, doesn't it, on how to actually scrap ships and what to expect. So try this at home, chums. Heck yes. Righto. So here we are. We have an S-Class to experiment with now, chums. Let's see what sort of S-Class modules we get from scrapping this. And let's see if we get more than one storage augmentation. However, what I'm thinking, chums, is now that I, if I do get another storage augmentation, rather than applying it, I might grab that storage augmentation and a load of the activated idiom from down at uh, inside Vortex's base and put them inside of my Colossus Exocraft, chums. Because if I do that... I should be able to duplicate all the idiom and also some of these S-Class modules along with that storage augmentation. And if I do that enough times, I may have enough for my whole fleet of ships once I get them all, if I do a little bit of duplication. I know it's not everybody's thing, but I want to try and press on with my adventure as quickly as I possibly can. And I don't really want to spend days upon days of scrapping ships and things like that. So if you are a new player and you just want to catch up with one of your friends or something, this is probably a good way to do it with a bit of duplication while it's still there. May as well make, make use of it while it's in game. Right, okay, so I just got all this scrap. Fantastamondo. Excellente. So there we go. And I did get a storage augmentation. Fantastic. Let's just check. Let's just double check. Let's go into the old inventory space. Exosuit. There it is there. Storage augmentation. Bingo was his name -o. And yes, I've got a load of S-Class modules as well. And some of these are really cool. So shield module, hyperdrive, pulse, and that's it. Awesome. Well, that's fantastic. So there we go. Fantastic. Mondo. Heck yes. So if you are running low on resources, and you want to scrap some ships, that's pretty much how you do it. Find yourself a nice wealthy system and start scrapping. Heck yes. Until next time, people, you've been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. I want to say a massive great big thank you to every single one of you watching me right now, thanking you. And I want to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreons that you can see on the screen here. Thank you, uh, Patreons. And a massive great big shout out and thank you to all of my YouTube memberships, thanking you, people. And yeah, if you want to join any of those, check out the video description. I also have merch on my channel page. Be sure to check that out. There's something there for everyone. And I also have an eBay store where I sell 3D printed items. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, if I can make you guys smile, then yeah, that makes me smile. So thank you very much for watching, people. And yeah, if you haven't already, please hit a like. That would be fantastic, dozy Heck yes. Or you could hit a subscribe. chicka pum pum chicka pow pow Yep, and if you're done both of those, there's always the notification bell, and then you won't miss the next episode. Heck yes! And on this screen here, YouTube or Google, the algorithm, will try to predict what you might want to see on my channel. Hit one of those tiles, that'll be ace, or hit the join or subscribe. And until next time, people, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again! Goodbye!